Most of us are familiar with this symbol found on the sidewall of winter tires, but I bet you haven't seen this symbol yet. What does it mean? And do you need a tire with this new symbol on it? Well, let's take a closer look at that question today as we talk tires. This is the new ice grip symbol, which you'll find on the sidewall of some winter tires. If you're wondering how it's different from the three peak mountain snowflake symbol we're all familiar with, you're not alone. So let me explain. The three peak mountain snowflake symbol tells you that a tire has passed third party testing to prove that it can perform in winter conditions. This new ice grip symbol, on the other hand, tells you that a tire has passed third party testing to prove that it is particularly good on icy roads. In fact, it's at least 18% better than a standard reference tire against which it was tested. So if you live in the parts of North America where ice covered roads are commonplace during the winter months, this is a big deal because the ice grip symbol tells you that the tires you're buying should offer excellent grip on those icy road surfaces. Now the ice grip symbol was first introduced in Europe in 2021 and it's making its debut here in North America on two tires from Nokian, the Nokian Hakapalita 10 and the Nokian Hakapalita R5. Headquartered in Finland, Nokian Tires is well known for their winter tire line, so it's no surprise that they've engineered a tire that not only promises great performance in the snow and slush, but on ice as well. So I asked Nokian what makes these tires able to stick to ice, and they said that it's a combination of the tread pattern as well as the tire compound. Now, naturally, they weren't gonna share any trade secrets with me, so that's all I was able to get out of them. Now, I haven't seen the ice grip symbol on any other tires from any other brands here in North America. So it would seem that for now, unless I'm wrong, the Nokia and Hakapolita 10 and R5 are the only tires sold in North America with this symbol. That said, how do you know if this tire or if these tires are right for you? Well, to help you decide, here's an interesting fact. In Europe, anyone selling tires with the ice grip symbol is obliged to post the following statement on their website. It reads, ice grip tires are specifically designed for road surfaces covered with ice and compact snow and should only be used in very severe climate conditions. Using ice grip tires in less severe climate conditions, including wet conditions or warmer temperatures, could result in suboptimal performance in particular for wet grip, handling, and wear. Interesting. So I asked Nokian what that means, and here's what they said. Winter tires are only meant for use in temperatures below 45 degrees Fahrenheit or seven degrees Celsius. Sustained use in warm temperatures will cause their soft compounds, which maintain grip in frigid temperatures, to wear quickly and unevenly. This can lead to inferior traction, especially when low or uneven tread depth comes into contact with wet roads. Hydroplaning and blowouts become more likely when winter tires are used in warm weather. We recommend installing a set of all season or all weather tires for the warmer seasons. So that brings us to our question. Is this tire right for you? Well, I would say that if the part of North America where you drive remains consistently below 45 degrees Fahrenheit or seven degrees Celsius for months at a time, then the extra grip these tires offer could be well worth it. But if winter is not that harsh where you live, then the extra grip you're buying, well, you may not really need it. In other words, these winter tires on steroids might be too much winter tire for you. Now, if a tire with the ice grip symbol is too extreme for you and you're wondering, well, should I get a set of winter tires for my car or maybe a set of all season tires with all weather capabilities, check out the video here and I'll give you the answer. And as always, thanks for watching.